Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman, thecombatsystem.com, thecombatsystem.com, here showing you the advanced MMA kicking system. MMA is becoming so advanced, all you young guys out there need to be learning a kick numbering system just like you should my advanced MMA punch numbering system because there's different punches in MMA that work a little bit better than they would in boxing or even in Muay Thai. MMA is its own individual sport. Here is the kick numbering system. This is a good way just to train your brain as warm up in class it takes a while to get down along with my knee and my elbow and my punch numbering system. But kick numbering system, 13 main kicks. One's actually tricky, it's not a kick. You'll see that in a minute. Okay, because you need to have all this down and it's always good to remember, remind fighters to go to the legs with different kicks, you know, which would be like a three, four, five, six and a nine or a three, five, four, six and an eight, so to kick to the leg and then go for the head knockout like Carlos Conda did to Nick Diaz using a lot of those kicks to the leg, beat it up from all angles. Okay, I'm going to work Vladimir here and show you the kicks. Just like, just like a jab, just like a jab, uh, we're going to do uh, the T kick or the front kick or the front ball kick with your lead leg as a one. Okay, two, power back kick, three, inside kick, four, outside kick, five, any kind of lead leg side kick, six, chasseur the lead kick, seven, liver kick, and eight, High kick, nine, left high kick, ten, back side kick of any kind, eleven, spin hook kick, twelve, tornado kick, okay, and thirteen is tricky. If I call for a thirteen K, it's just flying knee. Okay, so I'll go over those again. And why you, you use them and you use them different ways. Okay, get a, a slightly maybe different angle. We'll, we'll go this way this time. Okay, one, front kick. That can be your lean back counter team kick to the chest, the sore plex, okay? Or it could be a front ball kick, trying to penetrate it hard to the organs lower to the body. More like my current instructor, Benny the Jet, teaches. Okay, two is your typical front kick. Always throw your hip and penetrate and boom, forward hard. Okay, three, inside kick. Two different ways to use the inside kick. Upward angle, across here, or across angle, across the knee. Okay, so you usually do it with a step out or with a switch. Now, if you're calling for kicks, obviously the fighter's setting it up with his hands first. He's coming back with hands. You use it advanced. But if I'm saying I want threes and fours, the fighter would know what that is inside and outside kicks. Okay, so it could be inside kick, here, jab, really fast. Watch. Or it could be across the knee to open up his base. Falls into the right hand that way. It's two different, very common ways. Uh, Diego Alves uses the first one a lot in his fights, okay? So that's four and five, or uh, three and four. Five is any kind of lead leg side kick. You know, simply lean back, side kick the front knee, okay, using your heel. Or it could be a, uh, I guess maybe like a Japanese, it could be a, a side kick to the chest or the body, again, yeah? okay? Or from outside, it could be, it could be a sliding side kick to the chest. Bruce Lee style, I like to snap, throw a back fist up here to get his eyes, okay, move around. Okay, knock the guy back. Or it could be a Sabat style psychic. So it's any kind of lead leg psychic. Or it could be Sabat style. Maybe I do a step out of hook. Okay, a step, a step three, step four. There. And then piston leg down. I'm in position for that psychic into the leg. So five, that's five. Six is our oblique kick. We usually do it 80% or about the time. Commonly, commonly will be up and out for power as an offensive kick and also as a defensive kick. If the guy's coming with a lot more energy really fast, you do it with a sweeping motion, but it doesn't have as much power. But sometimes that goes into other things for combatives, to a straight blast, or that can go into a six-nine kicking combination, okay, up to his head. So six and then a nine. Okay, so six is any kind of, okay, oblique kick with the heel to the knee. Okay, you can always go forward and try and collapse that structure. Okay, and fall and look at uh, Keith Jardine and Brandon Barrett. Okay, and it's been used widely in linear kicks since I've been really pushing it out there on the internet, widely used by a lot of guys in the UFC and MMA in general. Okay, seven is the liver kick. So, it could be a little switch, or it could be a step out. Okay, a step out is probably the more powerful direct way, or if you're close to range after punching, you see switch, little switch, guys. Speaking of switches, everyone goes, Ugh! says, here I'm coming. No wide switches. No flat-footed switches. You switch on the balls of your feet. Heels off really fast going forward the pressure. Okay, so that's seven. Boom, liver kick. Eight, high kick. Couple different ways. Okay, it's usually just this. Or 
you know, if you're going linear at your closer range, you can do it more like a front kick and then turn it over. Okay, and then there's dip kicks and question mark kicks as well. Okay. Nine, step up. Left high kick, any kind of left high kick. Okay. Ten, is any kind of back side kick. It could be this range, bam. It could be against, all right. Okay. It could be throw like a, a slow right hook, a big right hook. Cool. I hit guys with the liver with a little hop, little mini jumping back side kick to the liver that way. Or we could be at a distance here, he's backing up against the ropes, he's tired. Okay? And then I do double jumping. Double jumping back side kick. Okay, obviously I'm pulling my shots and I'm a little out of position. But that's showing you all the uses. Many kind of back side kick 10. 11 is a spinning hook. Kick. My right leg's not that good. I'll do left leg. You want to shoot it like a back side kick off at an angle, just like our 7 8 Russian long hooks. Come outside his peripheral vision and come in with the heel. That's a Bobo's knockout. Good stuff. Okay, so you're going to shoot it like a back side kick and then hook it. Not really a wheel kick, spin hook it. Okay, like a back side kick and hook it. I'll do that at camera. Okay, here, spin hook it. Okay, that was maybe above the camera. I'll go a little lower. Okay, spin hook it. Uh, 12 is tornado kick, 540 kick, or whatever you want to call it. Okay, maybe it's a 720, I don't know. Maybe master that. Okay. Up and around. Okay? If I go a little farther out, just so I can come closer. From here. Okay, so if I call it 12, that's that. That camera. I'm here. Okay? Mostly the head. So if the guy's backing up and leaning away, you can come down on the leg very hard. Here it is. Up and down. Okay, and you collapse down the structure. And 13 is tricky, 13 is just flying where your knee. So if we call it 13K, it's flying knee. That's usually used against the cage or the corner when the guy's rocked a little bit. Okay, that's when you should use it. So that's the kick numbering system. Good warm up to practice in class. Check out my other videos. Go to the comment system.com. Thanks.